Well, Simon, probably at the end of the game, not the result you wanted, you want to win, but we've come away with a draw and another fantastic finish by the team. Yeah, yeah, to be honest with you, I was pleased with the performance. I think you look at it over, overall, I, I don't think they've really caused us much problems. Um, I think first half we were really comfortable and then they get a, a shot from 25 yards which which like goes in and, and it kind of, it's a bit of a kick in the, kick in the stomach sort of thing because I thought we, were on, we had enough chances in the first half to be probably 2-3-0 up. Um, but then we came out second half and we changed the, uh, the formation a little bit and, and I thought we, it was us, it was all us really. I mean, some of the balls that were going in the box, we just needed to, to convert it and I think we'd have, we'd have gone on and won the game. But saying that, we've got a point and a point's better than nothing. I think with the other results in the league, it keeps us right in touch with it and we go on to Friday. Well, as you, as you say, um, a draw is, a, is a, a result that's that's better than a loss today. But we, you spoke about the chances that created. We did create a number of chances and, mm. and really probably were unfortunate not to score in the first half and even earlier in the second half. So from where we are in the league, I know it's no consolation because we didn't win, but you must be delighted with the amount of chances that are being created. Absolutely. I think if you look at it, we've, we've won um, or in the last three games were unbeaten. So we've taken seven points from nine in the last three games. That's good form to take into a relegation battle. Um, and I think with the chances we're creating, I just said to the boys, we're playing playing well. That's the, it'd be, it would worry me if we weren't creating any chances at all and we were kind of stumbling through games, but we're creating chances. So we've got to go to next week to Carl Short and actually full of confidence, I think. I think the, the pressure's probably more on, on Carl Short to stay in the playoffs now than us to worry about getting a win. They've got to get something as well. So I think it'll suit us next week. I think it'll be a, a sort of game that'll suit us. They're a good football inside and we always seem to play well. You must be delighted that, that, that we spoke about it last week and we spoke about it before the game today. You must be delighted that even when we're behind, we go right to the end. Last week was a classic example of that. We won the game yeah. in the last five, ten minutes. Yeah. And today we've we've scored an equaliser in the last three or four minutes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was a great goal, great cross from uh, Joe, and another good finish from Tommy. And I think if we could have if we could have nicked that goal fifteen minutes earlier, I think we'd have gone on and won the game. To be honest, because I thought we I thought we dominated the the, the last 20, 25 minutes. Um, but that's that's what happens. I think we have to really earn the right to get a goal. I don't think anyone gives us a goal. Um, but but like I say. I, I thought they all put in a real shift. I, I was really pleased for them, and now we've just got to recover for a big weekend next weekend. You, you speak about that they all put in a good shift, but we have to talk about, I would say, the main man, Tommy Wood. Yeah. I mean, since the guy's been with the club, he's delivered every game he's played. Mm -hmm. So, you know, from your perspective, it must be nice having, having a, you know, a guy up top, a focal point, yeah. but also clearly someone that can pull, put the ball in the back of the net. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it was a great header today. It's one of the ones where you kind of ghost him from the back, but, but he gives us a presence up there and he gives us, he allows us to kind of free up Joe, free up Aaron to, to kind of give us width and everything. And you know, when the ball goes in a box that we've got a good chance of, of him kind of putting it away. Um, unfortunately, probably the, the, the chances that fell to us from the crosses, didn't fall to him and they fell to other players and we just missed the missed the target sort of thing. But no, he's done great. He's been fantastic for us and we just need that for another three games. We've got three games left now. Um, the next game is Carl Shorten away. Mm. Uh, Carl Shorten, I believe, are fourth in the league at the moment and uh, they've won today. Yep. So they're, they're in a bit of form. Um, clearly it's going to be a, a difficult trip for us yep. away to a team that are playing so well. Um, you know, how, how are you going to approach that game? What, what's your approach to, to what well, clearly on paper is going to be a difficult game? Yeah, I think I think for us, I think we play better against football sides. And Carl Shorten actually, when they came here, although we beat them 3-2, I thought we're one of the best football sides that have been here this year. I thought they were fantastic. So we'll set ourselves up. We'll approach it like we, like we would kind of any other game. But I think for us... I'm trying to just take the pressure away from the boys, to be honest with you, because I think if we go there and get a point, that'll be a good result. But I think with what we've got in our team at the moment, like you mentioned, Tommy, we've got Joe, um, we've got Aaron, I think kind of Cads and, and what have you are really playing well at the moment. We've got enough to go there and get results. I don't. I think we've shown that in that we've beaten the top five this year. So we can go and beat another one of the top four, no problem at all. Yeah. Well, congratulations today, Simon, and we look forward to Friday. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks very much. Well